Good evening, guys. I actually saw someone actually ask this question. How to find the bandwidth using a cell function table? Okay, so this is the question okay, which I believe you have read the question. So let me quickly come into the solution. Okay, before I start anything, okay, I need to find my modulation index MF, okay, which is equal to this formula. My MF is equal to divided frequency divided by the frequency of my modulating signal. So I need to find these two parameters before I actually can find my modulation index. Okay, so this is the modulating signal. Okay, this part here is actually obtained from the question. Can you see over here? This part is actually obtained from this question here. Okay, so from this part here, I actually can accept two important parameters. Okay, so this line here is actually the description. So from here, I compare term by term. I know that my EM is equal to two. Can you see here? I know my EM is equal to two. I know my FM, which is equal to three kilohertz. So from here, I actually know my EM is equal to two and my frequency of my modulating signal is three kilohertz. So with this, I'm ready to do another steps. Okay, this is the David frequency, okay, which is equal to KF multiplied by EM. Okay, this KF is actually also given in the question, which is six kilohertz. Can you see over here? So therefore, I know my KF, which is 6K. My EM is equal to 2. So I calculate my David frequency, which is 12 kilohertz. So with this, I'm ready to calculate my modulation index, okay, which is equal to David frequency divided by the frequency of my modulating signal. So this David frequency, which is 12K, okay, you can see here, this frequency of my modulating signal, which is 3K, so with this, I actually calculate my modulation index of four. Okay, so this is a very important thing to find before you actually can go into the Purcell function table. Okay, so I hope you are now clear how I actually obtain my modulation index, which is four. Okay, so this is a Purcell function table. Okay, so remember this column here is actually the modulation index or MF in short. Okay, I have calculated the MF is equal to four, can you see here? So therefore over here, okay, I actually take a look on MF is equal to four. So what I need to do is I shift all the way to the right, okay, which is the 0 0.02. Okay, I don't need the number 0 0.02. What I need to do is I shift all the way up again. So therefore I find this seven here, can you see here? So from here, I conclude my N is equal to seven. Okay, so this is my n max number here. So with this, let's quickly calculate. Okay, so this is from where I calculate from the Purcell function table. I know my n max is equal to seven. So this is from the seven that I obtained earlier on. Okay, so next I'm ready to apply the Purcell function bandwidth, which is this formula, two times n max times fm. So this is two. Okay, I found seven. Okay, this is the frequency of the modulating signal. Okay, which is three. Okay, in case you've forgotten, let me quickly go back to the question here. So this is three kilohertz. So from here, I actually calculate my Purcell bandwidth, which is 42 kilohertz. Hopefully this is useful for you guys. Okay, with this, I'd like to wish you guys also all the best. Good luck for tomorrow paper. Take care guys.